Amanda, you may think you can follow in the footsteps of Atlanta's very own Sam Lexima on A&E's Flip This House and make big money. Better watch this first. My name is Sam Lexima. This is the definition of sexy. Meet a smooth-talking star of A&E's Flip This House. Buying and selling real estate is my passion. Yeah, this is a this is a nice one. Flip This House is the reality TV show that videotapes different developers at work. Buying. What's going to happen right here? Fixing up. And selling old homes. There is no good news here. But for Sam Lexima, the reality was this. His episodes of the show were a sham. It's reality TV. Where's the reality? Yeah, exactly. In fact, we found very little reality when Lexima appeared in this popular TV show. We found Sam Lexima didn't even own the homes he was renovating and lied about selling the houses and making big money. And this one looks like a big home. Now. I like it. We start with this home in West End. Huh. On A&E, oh, it appeared God. Sam found the home through his realtor and stepped in to buy. How fast can you get back to your office to put a contract hey, together? I could be back to my office in 15 minutes. Did he? Did Sam Lexima own this house? No, not to my knowledge. He never owned this house. Real estate broker Kat Mirthal says her clients own the house. They live in New York. She says Sam convinced them to buy the house, and for only $7,500, plus the cost of materials, he would renovate it during a Flip This House episode. On the show, the renovation looked top-notch. Floors were leveled, the kitchen remodeled, painters used 12 different colors, and the hardwood floors were restained. You can tell the new patch of work because they used a different type of wood. In reality, the real estate agents showed us two-toned floors that weren't perfectly level, kitchen tile with no grout, paint patches all around the house, and those closets. Oh, every closet has something. And the front closet has the windows. But the A&E show claims the home was so impressive, Sam sold it right off the bat to this couple at an open house. The profit, supposedly $77,000. And you sold this bad boy. But the truth is, there was no home sale. It was all made up. But who's that couple? I have no idea. But no couple bought it? No couple bought it. So who is this Sam Lexima? An ITEAM investigation found 12 people who complained to police, state regulators, or in court documents that they lost thousands investing with Lexima. Added up, the losses total more than $400,000. In fact, the Secretary of State's office is investigating Lexima for possible violations of Georgia's Securities Act. And if A&E had checked, they would have found the Georgia Real Estate Commission revoked Lexima's real estate license before taping ever began. Finding Lexima does not bear a good reputation for honesty, trustworthiness, integrity, and competence. You don't know how bad he is until you've been stung. Sonia McGee was a family friend. She even vacationed with Sam and his wife in Brazil. But she filed a complaint with Better Business Bureau saying Sam cheated her out of $4,000. I was betrayed by somebody I would call a friend. She was working with him when he was shooting another Flip This House episode. She says Sam invited friends over to this Decatur home and passed them off as potential home buyers on the A&E show. There was no sale. The house is still empty and unsold. But really wasn't reality. No, not at all. Not any aspect. Everything was staged, even the amount of time it took them to finish the house. And how do you know all that? I was with Sam. I saw it for myself. As far as I know, the whole the whole scene that day was staged. Do you no surprise to Scott Tremel. He saw it firsthand. There's actually a money issue on this. We really need to, you know, for this to be affordable. In the show, Sam's crew hired Scott to landscape. But in reality, Scott Tremel says the production company hired him to meet a deadline. A temporary job just for the cameras, so the house would look like it was ready to sell. But you can see how deep we dug the initial hole. Trimble says he just put pots in the ground. You can even see it for yourself on the A&E show. During the so-called open house, 
Sam claimed to make a sale. We're uh, taking off and starting at 199 for this one. Well, we're going to make that offer. Really? Yes. When the cameras left, Scott removed all the plants. Well, it wasn't even close to real. Not even close. Not even close. The house not only didn't sell, it is still for sale. So what does Sam Lexima have to say about it all? How about the flip this house when you told people that you had sold those homes and they really weren't sold? It's a television show. It's a television show, meaning you don't have to tell the truth? Uh, call up A&E. They're the ones who put the stats up, up, uh, up on television. In a written statement, A&E said it was dismayed to learn of these allegations and that A&E television is not a party to any of the transactions shown in Flip This House. A&E says it is taking all of the Sam Lexima episodes off the air, pending further investigation. Are they misleading the public? Very much so. Very much so. It's not quite the way it seems. Reality TV is not reality. Now, landscaper Scott Tremble is still on Flip This House, now landscaping with Angie Wilford, an Atlanta realtor. Both insist they're doing top-notch renovations, nothing staged. Departure Films, that shoots the video for A&E, never responded to our questions about those fake home sales. Now, you can go to my blog on myfoxatlanta.com and find out a lot more about Sam Lexima and link to some great websites and blogs that follow the reality TV world. Russ, Amanda? Well, it's, it's hard when you're watching. You assume that you're being told the truth. Now, is this all that Sam Lexima does, rehab houses like this? Oh, my gosh, no. He, in fact, is, uh, claims to be the CEO of a several limited partnerships that invest other people's money where you would give him money, he would turn around and take it and go into some kind of investment, everything from hotels mm -hmm. to a general limited partnership. You're going to meet a lot of people tomorrow night that have claimed to have lost a lot of money, including one youth minister who says he lost faith in himself and for almost $100,000. Oh, my goodness. So it's going to be quite interesting. Serious money. We'll see you tomorrow night. Dale, thank you.